guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a kind of full face um, video tutorial on Fenty Beauty products. I'm saying kind of because I don't have everything. So basically brows is my mascara. I have my own mascara on. So I use the same mascara on my lashes and my brows. They do have powder, but I didn't have it. So I just used my own translucent powder. But yeah, it's only like two products that I've used. Everything else. So I would say over 95% of what I use is Fenty Beauty on my face. I was really, really surprised by the outcome because especially the eyes, it just looks so pretty. I was also sent some new bits from the Fenty Beauty range. I had their foundation and primer and everything. I was also sent some more matchsticks, the gloss and like a highlighter, the foundation brush. So if you want to know what my thoughts are on these products and how I created this look then just keep on watching. Okay so the first thing I'm going to use is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. This primer, I literally wear it every day, like I'm not even joking, it's the best primer I've ever tried. I actually do like to combine it with the Smashbox Primerizer most of the time because this is like a matte primer and then the Smashbox one helps to give like hydration back to my skin. But on its own it's still like a really good moisturiser primer because it kind of moisturises at the same time. And it smells so good. So I do have all my matchsticks here. I have my little collection. Um, I was sent a matchstick trio set, which was the deep one. And I bought wheat myself, which I, again, love to highlight. I've actually kind of got down on it. I've been using it a bit. But for I was thinking for my brows, I could use the espresso matchstick because it is quite dark. It is like really, really dark, like... That's, that's what espresso looks like. Let's just see what I can do with this. I don't know if it's gonna be too warm. Okay, that's not working out. That's way too warm. So what I'm gonna do is just use my mascara. I've been doing this a lot lately. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my wheat match sticks. Match stick, which looks like this. It's like my favorite highlight color. And with a flat brush, I'm just gonna like kind of clean up the edges. I've only used mascara and powder, which is not Fenty. Okay, so now onto this, back to the skin. Actually, my favorite at the moment is the Pro Filter Foundation in 330. So make sure you just shake it really well. And I put like a bit on the back of my hand and I kind of dot it. I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty foundation brush which is in the number 110. This brush feels so soft so I'm really excited. So yeah, I'm just blending it. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some wheat under my eyes. I already said this before, like I don't, I love to highlight. So what I do normally every day, I put my concealer right close to my lash line and then I go in with my matchstick here and my forehead. Like I love it to highlight my face, but it's not the best like increasing area. So I wouldn't put it anywhere near your smile lines or like under the eyes. I would just say go with your concealer first under the eyes and then put this like kind of to highlight but not close to your lash line but these do like blend like a dream this is why I can't wait to try the contour one because I was actually going to buy a contour one I was telling my friend Nina like she went to Fenty Beauty a few days ago and she bought a bunch of stuff and I was like I need a contour stick and we were talking about it I'm going to be using the match stick in suede which is I would say like my bronzer shade here's just a that's espresso that it comes over and that's suede So that's actually quite a nice colour. I'm just gonna like blend it with my sponge. So I'm first gonna do the under eyes. Like, isn't that colour so beautiful? Someone asked why don't I contour my nose? I don't contour my nose because I feel like I don't need it. If I don't if I feel like my nose is alright, why would I wanna like contour it and change it? Like it doesn't matter if everyone's contouring their nose online, I don't have to do it. Like if you are happy with the way your face is, don't feel the need to contour just for the sake of it like what's the point you're just putting extra product on your face for no reason 
I just don't get it like when I get comments like that it's just like I'm just happy with my nose like I do contour my cheeks because obviously I have big cheeks and I would like them to be a bit chiseled but I'm doing it today because I just want to I also don't contour because I I wouldn't say like I don't know how to but I'm not like Mario Mario when I contour nose um but these are like super easy to contour your nose with like they just blend so easily the thing is i would just say make sure that you blend these matchsticks really well some people say that they're drying they are a little bit because like like if you leave it too long it's a bit harder to blend so right now i'm just tapping and swiping at the same time see i feel like that's too low so i'm gonna fix that in a bit I feel like I could get away with more. Just like here and then here. Jawline. I can definitely say like Fenty Beauty products have been one of my favourites really recently. Like they're just so good and they just make your skin look so good. And every time I'll kid you not, like when I wear Fenty Beauty on my st on my face, I get so many compliments about my skin. And I'm gonna be honest, like lately I haven't been feeling that great about my skin. It's been like really bumpy later and that's the main issue I have. Like textured skin is my main problem. Um but guys doesn't that look so good? Okay let's try espresso. Espresso is much dark. I don't know if I could wear this. I'm gonna put it very lightly. Damn, how am I going to blend that now? And then I'm also going to go in with a bit of wheat again and just like kind of like carve that bit just to make it a bit cleaner and a bit higher. I'm just going to make sure that I blend that concealer a bit and then I'm going to take my powder I'm using my LA Girl powder and I'm just going to set my under eyes and everything Fenty Beauty do have their own powder but I don't have it so and I really wanted to film this video so you can definitely wear like that powder I've actually heard really good things about it it does feel like to me when I first tried it it does feel like really like I don't know if it was because the tester was weird, but it felt kind of dryish. So for highlighter, I actually have a matchstick in cinnamon, which looks like this. This is like a highlighter shade. But it's very like I think it's really dark though. Yeah, it's like really dark. I could actually I could use this as a blush. And just blend it. Maybe don't put it there, use it as a blush. Cinnamon is a really good blush colour. If you are darker than me, then it will be a good highlight colour. Like if you're really like a deep, deep colour, that would be such a beautiful colour on your skin. So yeah, for me, it's more like a blush. This is why I love these like matchsticks, even though like they say don't put cream on powder. I've been doing it for ages and it works totally fine for me. Um, and that's what, this is what I love. Don't get me wrong, like... When you use some creams on top of our powder, it just goes totally wrong. But with these, you can just work so easily with them. I just love these matchsticks so much. And I'm not even lying, guys. You can just see, like, look how it just makes your skin look so blended. And I just love it. I love it, guys. Okay, so, yeah. Matchsticks is, like, literally one of my favourites. Like, I love the prime and the foundation. But these are so, so good. Oh, and I'm also going to go in with my Fenty Beauty highlighter duo in Hustler Baby. Me Money and Hustler Baby. I mix the two and I've been wearing this a lot as well. So yeah, I love this highlighter. Her highlighters are so good. I definitely recommend Me Money, Me Money Hustler Baby. I think it's like her popular one. But on to the eyes. I've seen their pro makeup artist. I think it's Priscilla. Um, use the matchsticks as eyeshadow so I'm actually going to try suede first
they kind of set into the powder so I totally see how you can like use them as eyeshadow. I don't know if you can see though, it's definitely adding like warmth to my lids. And then I'm going to go in with espresso. This is a really dark colour so I'm going to use a smaller brush. In the crease. Some of my lower lashes. I'm also going to go in with a bit of cinnamon just on the lid. I'm just going to blend that with my finger. And I was also sent another highlighter duo, but this one is in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And I believe this is the one that I was hesitating between. I was hesitating between this one and the Hustler Baby, and I went for Hustler Baby in the end. Um, but this is more like of a reddish tone. And you would think like, oh my god, it's so red, but it doesn't come out as red as you see it. But I would use this like on my eyes, definitely. But if you're deeper than me in skin tone, this would be such a beautiful highlight slash blush on you. But anyways, I'm going to pack this on my lid. Look at that. That is so pretty. I'm just going to show you like what it looks like with the cream side. Because one side is a bit more creamy. So that's the difference, it's much more reddish. So with this highlighter, it is a really big pan to be going in and buying it just for your eyes. I feel like if you're not going to be using this on your face as a blush, because even as a blush it would be really pretty as well. Should we try it? Let's just try it for the sake of this video. I'm going to use the more like metallic shade rather than the sparkly one. See, I would use that as a blusher. If you're happy to spend the money just for the eyes because it is super pretty on the eyes go ahead and spend the 26 pounds on this because it is a really nice product but if you don't want to spend that money then i would only get this if you are going to use this on your face and your eyes obviously but if you want to use it as a blush or a highlight because i feel like you'll get more worth out of your money because it's a really big pound for just the eyes in my opinion but i love the color and i'll i definitely see myself using it as um a blusher. I'm also going to go in with a bit of Hustler Baby in the inner corner here. Okay, so I just applied some mascara, which is the Lash Sensational Mascara. It's like my favourite, which again is not... Fenty. I just got makeup all over my sleeve. I need to clean my hair, it's just a mess. Anyways, so for my lips, I'm actually going to grab suede and see if I can wear this on my lips because I love a good nude. I would actually wear this, you know. It kind of looks more like I've just put foundation on my lips. But it's actually surprisingly very comfortable on the lips. But what I'm going to do is grab some of Espresso and use that with a small brush. The one that I use on my eyes really. So I put a lot of espresso on and then Okay, I'm not even joking guys, I would actually wear this colour on a daily Even on its own, I'm really tempted to use suede with like cork lip pencil by MAC or LA Girl brown lip pencil um but what i'm going to do is i'm digging this shade but i'm actually going to try the gloss so this is the um fenty glow gloss bomb 
packaging, Mr. Die For, I love packaging, I'm a big sucker for packaging. The smell, like the first thing I did was smell it obviously. It smells like, do you know what it smells like? I found it. It's, oh my god, I'm going to put a picture here because you guys have to know. It smells like that basically. Those sweets that used to get distributed in, ha in, in class when it was someone's birthday or someone's Halloween or when it was Halloween basically. So anyways, I'm just going to pop this on. I think it's made the lipstick look even warmer. It just smells so nice. It's not sticky. I'm not a gloss person as you guys know, but this is a gloss I would wear. Like, it's just not sticky. My hair don't stick to it when it's Actually it does. But that, let's just ignore that. It's not really different to like a standard gloss, it's just a gloss, but it smells nice, it's really not sticky, it's very comfortable to wear, it's just really nice actually. If, you, if you're like a sucker for glosses, then it's definitely one to consider, um, but like, let's say you can definitely find a dupe of this in the drugstore basically. So I think that's it for this look guys. What do you guys think of this full face of Fenty, excluding the lashes and the brows? And the powder anyways that's the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this fenty look that i created obviously yes it's not exactly a full face i know that but i didn't have the powder and i don't they don't have brow stuff and they don't have mascara which i hope they bring out soon but i really enjoyed doing this video i've been loving fenty beauty products lately they're so so good and their prices are not that bad compared to higher end brands out there even though they are stocked in a really luxury store harvey nichols obviously i absolutely love everything my favorites are the matchsticks and the um primer and foundation obviously i actually really like the matchsticks on my lips i just love this guys it's like my look this makes your skin look so good but anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below if you have tried Fenty beauty products. It's literally been everyone on YouTube lately. Give this video a big, big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!